Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerben. I am the founder and content creator for IncredibleTutorials.com. I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 9 tutorials. So let's get started. In Anime Studio Pro, you have the ability to import images and trace them. In other words, you can convert images into vector graphics. From here, you can work with the vector graphics like you would any other vector layer. You can edit the points, you can add points, you can fill in the object, and so on. In order to do this, you'll first need to import an image. In my case, I have imported an image I created in another animation software. I simply saved it as a JPEG. Once you have the image, go up to Draw, Trace Image. As you can see, we now have a few different options. At the top, there's black and white, color, and photo edges. And below that, we have settings we can tweak for each of these types. So first, let's start with black and white. The big thing here is you can adjust the threshold. So if I bring my cursor over and I lower the threshold, you'll notice that the dark colors are starting to disappear to the point where my image disappears entirely. If I bring the threshold forward, you can see the opposite happens. So depending on what you want your vector graphic to look like, you may want to stick to something in the middle. Or even lower, if you just want the outlines of the object. Next, there is detail reduction. The higher this is, the less detail you have on your vector graphic. This is useful if you have a graphic that is high in detail. The more details you have, the higher the file size for your project file. Also, highly detailed images can tack some computer systems, so it depends on your specs. Finally, you can fatten lines, which just basically increases the thickness of the lines. Now if we jump over to color, our threshold changes to number of colors. Here we can decide how many colors we want to retain for the vector graphic. If we increase this, we get more color. If we decrease this, we get less color. Detail reduction is also here, so the higher this goes, the less detail you have. And finally, you can choose if you want outlines for the graphic. Last is photo edges. Here we can only adjust the threshold. So as you can see, as I lower the threshold, my image disappears. And if I increase the threshold, I can go all the way black, or if I can nudge it back a bit here, I can get a more detailed image. And this might work better if you have an actual photograph. For now, I'll choose the black and white setting, and I'll just bring my threshold back a bit here. and then click OK. You can now see the image has been replaced with a vector graphic. And on my Layers panel, the image is hidden while a new vector layer has been placed above it. That is the current vector layer we are looking at. And from here I can alter the image. Let's say for instance I want to get rid of this border I have right here. I can grab my Select Points tool and just select these points and get rid of that. I can get rid of this little spot up here as well. And now I can take my paint bucket tool, come over here to the style panel, and I can choose some big color for my pants, click OK, fill that in, get a color for the shirt, and so on. So as you can see, the traits image feature has many benefits if you plan to use external image types. And that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any more questions regarding Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Keep an eye out for more tutorials because I have plenty more out there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.